Okay, so today we are going over how to use the Swagbucks app. I love the Swagbucks app, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Caitlin. This is my office slash stockpile. I'm super excited that you're here. But in today's video, we are hopping into how to use the Swagbucks app. Such an amazing app to use. Um, some people think it's quite confusing, and I don't blame them because it's a little bit different than our other apps that we use, like Ibotta and Shopkick and Fetch. So we're going to go over it today and we're going to break it down and make it really easy and simple because it is a quite rewarding app to use once you learn how to use it. So let's head into that right now. Okay, so today we're going to check out this Swagbucks app. So here's our front, front page and I just left this here so you guys could see it. It was like right on my front page as soon as I opened it. I'm like, oh, perfect for our tutorial today. So here's, I'm just gonna go through this, just to give you a quick overview. Here's how it works in store receipts and online receipts. Find the deals you like, click add to list, and then purchase those specific items at participating stores. After purchase, click submit receipt from my list and follow the instructions. Be sure to read the fine print, paying special attention to product restrictions, expiration dates. You can also submit online receipts and that's how you're going to do that okay so but the first thing i'm going to do this is the home page of the swagbucks app if i go to shop that's where you want to be and then you want to go to magic receipts once you're on magic receipts if you had to submit a receipt you're going to go to install receipt we're going to get to that in a minute if you had to submit a receipt you can also submit one with that button right there but we're going to scroll down you can sort by different items so you can sort there um you can see all of these the easiest way to kind of convert on how much swag bucks you're gonna get back into cash is 700 swag bucks equals seven dollars then this arm and hammer equals 25 dollars back these uh this is ten dollars back and this is five dollars back here's a dollar here's ten dollars back on that wine eight dollars back on l'oreal so you can kind of see the the how it works six dollars six hundred equals six dollars back so let's say we wanted to look at one of these we're going to click on it and we're going to see that some of these are specific are for specific stores some are for any stores so if you buy one of these arm and hammer clean and simple detergent specifically the clean and simple you're going to get back three dollars buy two earn a thousand dollars or <laughs> thousand swag bucks i wish right or um ten dollars back so it's still a pretty good deal and you can see i already added this one to my app if I go through here again, let's go through another one. Let's see, maybe on the Burt's Bees, we're going to get $45 back for buying these. Buy one, get $10 back. Buy two, earn $45 back, guys. $45 back. If I want to add this, I would just add two thing now this is is an online deal so you can see that here by Burt's Bees online at Walmart so that's what you have to do specifically for this rebate I'm trying to find a rebate for you that's not at Walmart and they do come around let's go to Mentos all right so this one is at Kroger and you can see by three get seven dollars back I'm gonna add it to my list but our rebates, I promise you, that is at any store. So here's this fried goose sauce one. This one is buy one, get 30 cents back. Buy two, get 80 cents. Or buy three, get $3 back. I already added it to my list. It's in store. And this one is at any store. Any store. And with some of these, these may these offers, if you do it, they may just come back. And you can do them again. You can also see which stores it's available at. Okay, so this offers once per week, as you can see. Can you cannot use this offer with any and print or in-app coupon? So the Swagbucks app, you cannot use most of these offers. Some you can, but most of these offers say 
cannot use this offer with any in-print or in-app coupon or rebate. So you can't use it with other rebates or other coupons. That's the only drawback of using Swagbucks. Some people still do, but you know, it's up to you on how you want to do it. But if you want to submit a receipt, we're just going to go to submit receipt. And I don't have one that I have any items for currently, but I'm just going to show you the basics. So let's say I just went through that. I submitted my receipt. I'm in store. So I'm going to push next. And let's say I bought one of these cinnamon toast crunch cinnamon dust. Let's say I'm going to make sure all of these things are correct. Make sure the date is included. It's clear. I'm going to upload a photo and take photo. Then it's simply going to make me take a photo of my receipt. Okay, use photo. And if you ever wanted to, you can always take, push, push the plus button to make more photos. And, you know, you can take nicer photos. I was just simply um, trying to do an example for you guys. But it's going to scan for deals. La la la. It's going to probably say, you know, no deals or no matches. Yeah, so submission not accepted. We were unable to credit you. Now, if this ever happens, if it did go through, you would just push, you know, okay, because it'll be like, great, you got your swag bucks back. And then that's all you had to do. Now, if it says this submission not accepted, and then you guys see these red exclamation marks, you're gonna go to review receipt, and then you're gonna push request a review of my receipt. And then you're gonna click any in store because I should have at least got the end in store receipt. Um, if you did the cinnamon dust toast crunch, then you, you know, should click that as well. But I should at least got any in store receipt, so I'm gonna push done. And then, so it it's telling me that usually just the request just goes through and they say they'll go back to me. I don't know why they're telling me that though. So if something like this ever happens to you, you can go to the three little lines in the top corner, then go to help center and then click the three little lines again, submit a request, scroll all the way down and then submit general request. You're going to tell them what happened, uh, maybe some of the offers you were expecting to get and the cash back you were expecting to get and they should get back to you soon. Now, if you ever want to check out or when you're ready to check out, you're going to go to the three little lines and you're going to go to redeem SB and you can check out with gift cards. And so with these gift cards, there's so many options. You can check out with PayPal. You can check out with so many different options. I usually check out with a um, Walmart and that's why I usually check out with and I'll show you do to do. Not that one. Oh my goodness. I'm just pushing buttons. Alright, so I'm going to go to all rewards. And then... Usually it's on the... Yeah. So usually they have $25 ones, $10 ones, $5 ones, and so on. But I usually just get the $25 one and I'm going to claim my gift card. And once I push claim gift card, it's going to show up in my email uh, within 24 hours or after little after 24 hours probably and so that's how that works once you claim it in your email i'm going to show you guys how to do that not this one swag bucks gift card and then here it is. This was in 24 hours. It gave me back my gift card as soon as I push claim gift card. Easy as that. Literally claim gift card. And then it's going to tell me, okay. But you would just say view my gift card. It's going to pop up. Once it pops up, then it should come up with the barcode. And then you can scan the barcode in store at the register. There's other options, of course, for getting gift cards. That's the one I usually get though. And a lot of people use it to get money back through PayPal. Do, do, do. So I'm going to go to all. And usually people use this and send it to their PayPal. You can do it as well. Now a really cool feature that Swagbucks does is they put uh, sales on gift cards. So let's say you want to 
sign out or cash out with a Bath and Body Works $25 gift card. This one's on sale for 10%. Um, let me see on sale rewards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gonna scroll over. Let me see. Only 2%. Oh, 2%. Here's a CBS one for 5% off. So these are gonna, you know, go. These are gonna change. These sale prices are gonna change like weekly. Um, so you can see that. But that's how the Swagbucks app works. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to use the app correctly and effectively and get all the benefits out of it. Uh, these apps are so rewarding to use. If you wanna check out my other tutorials, I'll leave them down below for you guys to check them out because they really are so rewarding to use. And we get money makers on these all the time. We actually make money on these apps. We make free items, we get free items on these apps, and we get really cheap items on these apps. So they're so amazing to use. Um, I'll leave them all linked below for you guys to check them out to help you out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Happy couponing. So a quick little note I wanted to leave here. I do have my shop open, merchandise open you can purchase. And that has couponing accessories in the shop. It has things you might want to take along with you while you're couponing. It has a little couponing pouch you can put your coupons in. It has so many different tools and accessories and clothing you can use as a couponer. Um, the money that you guys, the things that you buy from my store actually goes right back into couponing. It goes right back into helping others. And me and my husband, we give away things weekly to people that may need it. We give away things weekly to, to families and also people who are you know, in another country who may need it. Maybe they reach out to us or maybe we just hear about them somehow. And so we do send them products or send them some form of payment to help them out during their time. Um, so if you do purchase something from that shop, just know most of that money does go towards those things. So thank you so much for everyone who has already purchased something. It means so much to us. And I just want to say a huge thank you. And also let you know, I'll leave that shop in the um, description box below. Okay, that's bye for now. Happy couponing.